In this Excel video, I will show you how to create lightning fast Excel formulas using the control key. We'll start by looking at how to do it with cells, and then we'll move on to looking at how to do this technique with ranges. Let's get started. So here I have sales information from a fictional cookie company, and I have total sales for each of these three kinds of cookies, but I would like to calculate the grand total number of sales. Of course, I could click here, type equals, sum, and then I could type in C6, comma, E330, comma, G430. Or I could type C6 plus E6 plus G6, and that would produce the correct answer. But there's got to be a faster way, and there is. What I can do is, yes, click in cell I6, type equals, sum, left parenthesis, and then I'm going to hold the control key on the keyboard, and I'll click on the first thing I want to add up, then the second thing, then the third thing. Tap enter, and I get the correct answer. Now this also works with averages. If I click here, type equals, average, left parenthesis, hold the control key, click on the first thing I'd like to include in my average, then the second, then the third, tap enter, and I get the average of all three of those numbers. The key to all of this is holding the control key as you click. Now what if I did not have the individual totals of each of the kinds of cookies? I'm going to delete out this information. You can see that affects my final results here at the right. I'll delete those out too. Without those subtotals of each kind of cookie, I could still use the control key to produce the grand total, and I can do it very, very fast. All I would need to do is click on cell I6, type equals, sum, left parenthesis, and hold the control key. But this time, instead of clicking on a cell, I'll just click and drag to select the first range that I want to add up, and then I'm still holding the control key. I'll click and drag to select the second range, and again, still holding the control key, click and drag to select the third range. Tap enter on the keyboard, I get the same correct result. Let's try it with averages. Equals average, hold control, click and drag, still holding control, click and drag, tap enter, and I get my result. So the control key really is your friend as you create your Excel formulas. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or buy channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic super techie supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you.